Hello guys, this is Ro and welcome to my channel. Here I wanted to make a little a day in my life video for you to see um, how my day unfolds. Especially during this quarantine, my routine really hasn't changed that much but there are many things I am adding to my day to feel more comfortable and heal and you know process all the kinds of emotions that come up. It was so much fun for me to do this and I hope you like it and remember to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn the notifications on to catch up with my content here. And let's go! Okay, I'm ready. Let's start this day. It's Wednesday, 24th of June <laughs> and I'm going to grab a cup of water. That's the first thing I do in the morning. I'm still in the astral plane of the dreams and imagination, but oh, I feel this is going to be a really nice day and I feel like very creative today and I'm happy! I just finished my workout. I'm sweating so much right now. <laughs> I'm going to do some stretching and then savasana. And my dad uh, made a smoothie. Uh, papaya, banana and orange juice smoothie. Mm. So good. I'm going to save it for later. Mm.
today is one of those days I really have so much energy and you know I'm taking advantage of it to do stuff to catch up with emails and DMs from friends and clients and yes I'm so excited I'm installing that thing for my Wi-Fi so I can teach longer yoga classes longer meditations and yeah because Wi-Fi is such an issue sometimes <laughs> um, but yes I'm excited to teach longer classes and also um, and yes I want to share that beautiful you know healing energy and the community I really like teaching yoga especially gentle relaxing yoga sequences with some you know energetic vinyasas and flows because I, th I think that's the best way to work holistically in our bodies. Deep work and deep relaxation. <laughs> I'm thinking of um, teaching BTS themed yoga classes. Yeah, so if you're an army, stay tuned for more details. Mm, I'm preparing really nice things for you. It's 7.22 and I just finished my meditation with our little group from Wednesdays. Um, it was such a nice meditation and it, we went over time. I think we all needed that. So yes, in my meditations, I add some movement and I just flow with my intuition and picking up the energies of the participants. And I just let my higher self guide me to to the words to use and you know the visualizations <laughs> it's um it's beautiful i i really feel blessed to be able to do this and <laughs> yeah it's my my life task my life purpose um 
Oh, by the way, speaking of purpose, I think I told you, but I'm going to do a video on that, on passion and purpose, so yes. Uh -huh. Maybe just now I feel like um, writing down some ideas for that. One, say hi to my videos poster in the back. Yes, they are my inspirations. <laughs> right now well this was a day in my life and I hope you enjoyed it I did it was a really nice day and peaceful and I did everything I wanted at my pace I found my joy my excitement my peace so I hope you enjoyed this video and find some inspiration for your own life I thought it was a really fun idea also as a self-love gratitude diary for myself and the way I'm living right now. So my life hasn't really changed that much since quarantine started because I've always been a humbody, a natural minimalist, an essentialist and I always say if I have my basic physical and spiritual needs covered I have everything to be happy and thrive. And one of my callings is showing you how to do that in your own way. One thing I've noticed is that my morning movement um, is longer now these days and I also added more moments of silence and stillness as a way to reconnect with essence and let my emotions move through my body and be released. Finding the magic in the mundane is awesome looking at your flowers, rearranging your furniture, making your bed, making yourself a nice cup of tea and savoring it. That's where life is. The little pleasures, the little moments are the biggest ones. And taking time to do nothing and just be with you, with yourself, is healthy and necessary. Do things that energize you and do things that soothe you and calm your nervous system and your body and do at least one playful or silly thing a day, my friend. Also remember that gratitude and appreciation give you life and abundance and everything you need. I invite you to create patterns in your day rather than routines. A pattern is like a rhythm, it's more like flow and feels more intuitive. Maybe see your, see your day as a song. How is the song of your day? How is the song of your life? What's your rhythm? What's your pace? Hmm? So I will leave you with that thought and don't forget to check the description to join our Facebook group and the online meditations via Zoom. Finally, special thanks to my Patreon friends Bogie, Christina, Grace, Stephanie, Maite, Sam and Rita. I love you so much and see you soon. Bye.